We're going to get started in a couple minutes. Maybe some people are taking some time to log on. But we will get into some yoga today. Please grab some water as you lay your mat out. Get into some comfortable, loose-fitting clothing that will allow you to be able to move and stretch. Of course, breathe and relax. I have my water here with a half a lemon in it. Getting my vitamin C and a little extra flavor. I'm gonna in there that helps me to feel refreshed and relaxed as I jump into my yoga session. All right, come into a comfortable seated position. What does that mean? Well, you gotta ask yourself what's comfortable for you. It could be crisscross applesauce like this with your legs as shiny as mine, or you can stack one of the legs on top of the other, come into our seated fist position. Our easy yoga pose. Or you could sit with your legs crossed here or maybe out, whatever works for you. Just get comfortable. All right. Now we're gonna start our session off making sure that we have everything we need. We got the water check, we got the clothing check, we got a mat, a towel, or whatever works for you check. And then we have a cool, comfortable place to be able to have space to stretch, to breathe, and to relax. You got all that? All right, cool, cool, cool. If you don't take a second to get it off. And then we're gonna start by breathing it all in. Yep, we're gonna start with our 15 second chill out challenge. That means for the next 15, we're gonna take deep breaths, all right? So we're sitting up nice and tall and we're relaxing ourselves, allowing ourselves to get ready. When we take deep breaths, we get focused, we get tuned in, we get relaxed, we get ready to go. On the count of three, we're gonna take deep inhales through our nose and then long, slow, relaxing exhales through our nose. One, two, three. Deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the nose. For one, good job. Inhale through the nose, relax the shoulders. Exhale through the nose. Don't try too hard, just let it be natural. Inhale through the nose. And then let it go through the nose. I know you wanna breathe out through your mouth, but be relaxed, inhale. And exhale for four, breathing in. And breathing out for five, breathing in. And breathing out six, relax your legs, breathing in. And breathing out seven, relax your back, breathing in. Breathing out eight, calm down, breathing in. And breathing out nine, keep breathing, breathing in. And breathing out 10, breathing in. And breathing out 11, breathing in. And breathing out 12, one more, breathe in. And breathe out 13, I'm sorry. Breathe in, and breathe out air too, relax. 14, breathe in, and breathe out. 15, woo, all right. We will wobble to the right, to the left, making sure you stay calm, relax, and start to move the body again. We're gonna to start to warm up the body by one left to right, side to side. Once again, in a comfortable position, whatever works for your legs. I want you to stretch those ribs. 
by raising that left hand over the left ear, right hand over the right ear. Stretch that back on side to side, bringing your head to your shoulder, just like a flower in the wind, bending side to side, left and right. Good. Now we're gonna make circles. Sit up nice and tall, shoulders relax your spine. That's your backbone all the way along. Take a deep inhale, feel your seat pushed into the ground. And then we're gonna take our left shoulder, drop it over to the left knee, left thigh. Come on down, Woo, feel that stretch right here in that right side. And then we're gonna slowly bring it around town. Trying to bring your chest to your legs and slowly breathing in and breathing out. Don't hold your breath. Bringing that right shoulder all the way over to the right knee, right leg. We are warming up here. Feel the side, the hip opening up because you've been in the chair all day long on that big jump game or on that couch. Inhale coming up. Relaxing the hips. Let's do three more of those. We're going to take it at your pace. You can go super duper slow and really feel what's going on in those muscles, the fibers and tissues opening up, stretching and relaxing you. Bringing all that blood flow, or you can move it a little bit faster, whatever you need. Take a deep breath in, breathe in, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, left shoulder, bring it on down, and body comes down and around. To the right shoulder. Let's do two more times. Inhale, you can bring your chin up to the sky, open the throat. Slowly bring that left shoulder down around. Feel the stretch in your back as you bring the forehead down towards the ground. And then one more time, slowly coming it up. All right, coming up to a tall seated position. If your legs and hips are starting to hurt from sitting like this, stretch them out, switch them out. Oh. Bring the other leg across, whatever you need to do to be comfortable. You don't want to be in pain, but you're moving through discomfort. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. Let's do a shoulder roll here. Inhale, bring those shoulders up, squeeze them by the ears. Oh. And exhale, roll them back and down. Smile, because somebody is here to make sure you are here. Inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Somebody cares about you enough to put you in a yoga class right now. Inhale, stretch, 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 stretch. Exhale, roll back and down. Ooh, do a little shoulder shimmy. Uh, 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 uh. Bring that chest forward. Bring the chest forward. Stretch your back, feel the stretch of your upper back. I'm bringing my chest forward, I'm bringing my head back. My back is bending, opening up through my chest, my belly, everything here. One more breath, breathe in. Exhale, I want you to bring your chin down towards your chest and feel the stretch in the back of the neck, all the way from your tailbone to the crown of your head. That's where your spine is. You are relaxing, releasing. You breathe in deep into the belly, shoulders soften. Keep your chin towards your chest, breathe in for three. Relax your jaw, two, one. Good, inhale, slowly bring the head back to the center. Y'all think I forgot? No, I didn't. We're gonna take that right shoulder to the right side and slowly make our rotations. Bring that right shoulder down, turn it in around. Slowly moving around, oh, stretching, opening up those hips. If you're an athlete, this is amazing for your performance. If you are a teacher, a student, and you sit in a chair all day, this is amazing for you not being stressed out and snapping on somebody because your body is like, yo, it sucks. I just went on a trip, and after I got out of my airplane, this is all I wanted to do. Stretch, 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 stretch. Good. And then inhale, slowly coming up, sitting up nice and tall. Breathe in and breathe out. Hey, is that awesome? Good. On the next inhale, let's bring both hands up into the sky. Reach up, stretch up. Breathe in, breathe in. And then we're going to take it forward, drop it all the way forward and down. Lean, lean, lean. Uh -huh. Forward, forward, relax, release. All right, you're taking the pressure off your back. You're releasing the pressure out of your shoulders. Your arms are heavy. Your legs are comfortably uncomfortable. We're gonna hold it here for five. Bring your chin down towards your chest. Four, collapse over your legs. Three, breathe. Two, and one. Good. Inhale, slowly come up. Walk those hands back, sitting up nice and tall. And then 
I want you to send those legs straight out. Woo. Let all that blood flow, circulation is going, and bounce the legs. Bounce, 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 bounce the legs out. Awesome. Now I want you to open and close your toes. Open and close your toes. And then wiggle the ankles around if you walk all day like me. You want to make sure the legs are relaxed. Here we go. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Good. I want you to curl those toes back. Aye. And you feel the calf muscles, you feel the Achilles tendons, all those fancy things in your feet. Stretch, 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 stretch. Even if you're sitting down in the chair, you can do this. Pull your toes back. I want you to imagine that you got a magic rope. Put it on your big toe and pull back. Oh, pull, 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 stretch. Inhale, come up, both hands, reach up, stretch up. Uh, can you? I, can you hear me? You can't hear me? Uh, can you hear me now? I can't hear you either. Hmm. What's going on? Um, let me see. I can't hear you, Miss Natalie. But you can hear me? No, you can't hear me? Hmm. Eliana, can you hear me? I know you heard me earlier. Let's see. Okay. So, I'm not sure, Miss Nat. Because I can't hear you, you can't hear me, but Eliana can. So I'm not. Is your microphone working? I can't hear you, but Eliana can hear me. And I can hear her. Okay, I hear something now. You hear now? I hear you now. Oh, yeah, yeah we're good. Sorry. Okay. All right. All uh, right. Okay. Let's bring you back. All right. Let us come into our. By the way, by the way James, since it's, since it's just um, Eliana, where are the students? What is going on? You got to report this to me if they don't show up. Okay. Um... Also, Eliana is here. Um, Eliana is a new and incoming tutor. So you can focus on the, the session. She's here doing yoga with her sister. But um, I also, if you can touch base before we end off on just how how the tutors can incorporate yoga into their sessions would be good, since it's just her. Okay, okay, I thought I was a student. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, okay, last, okay, I'll touch bases with you on um, the students. We have probably about one student each time been going on so okay all right all right so holy thing hello Eliana tutor thank you for signing up thank you for being a part of this we're going to talk about how to incorporate the yoga into the work that we do as educators tutors I grab my chair to kind of incorporate that so I know you're going to be teaching from the chair in front of you, but it's still the same way because you don't have a mat. You still need water. You still need to be present. You still need to focus on the breath, the movement, and the mindfulness of what you are doing to help to ensure that the students have your full attention and they can share that same attention with you. All right, so we did a couple things to start off that we usually do even with students. First, 
we focused on the breath, being able to breathe. I'll go deeper into the breath with you, especially when you are trying to, one, accomplish getting your focus back, two, helping to be able to relax, especially if they're coming out of a stressed out day, and three, help them to just calm down, all right? A lot of times they get excited and they're all over the place, so we want them to calm down. So we want them to be calm, we want them to have a tool to deal with stress, and we want them to be able to focus, and that's where we bring the breath in. And you see how I've jumped into the session with 15 deep breaths. You don't have to do 15, but you can just do a couple of deep breaths to help them be centered as we stay in the yoga world, meaning they're just right here, not all over the place. And it's important for us as tutors and educators to have that same skill. I want you to take your hands and put them over your belly, over your belly button, or somewhere near that. Because I want you to feel what it's like to take a deep belly breath. We're going to do those same principles of breathing, breathing in and out of the nose. But well, as you inhale, you're going to breathe in and your belly gets big like a balloon filled up with fresh oxygen. Helping to replenish and nutri the nutrients within the body. And then as we exhale, we get rid of the waste by letting our stomach shrink, suck it in. As you suck it in, you push out the toxins, you clear out the lung, you refocus the mind. All right. I love to get the picture of a red balloon rising and falling during the inhale and exhale. Inhale, big red balloon gets even bigger. Exhale, let some of that air out, the balloon gets smaller. I give the visual to help the students start to get that visual as well as the audio, the sensational education, the learning experience uh, there. So we add the color, the red balloon, you can see that right there in your mind. You transfer that over to your belly and then you get the sensation of breathing that helps to, to calm down. So I like to start out with that. And as you're doing it, of course, you can model it yourself and breathe yourself. But I like to start out my sessions with deep breath and I like to help to refocus the students with deep breath as well. Of course, it helps for me to refocus. When I ran out of my water and my nerve is bad, the traffic is bad, or whatever else is going on. All right. So being able to sit in a chair all day is tough, especially because our bodies are not designed for that. So we want to be able to move our body even when we can't move our body fully. Kids, you see a lot of the times the top of their shoulders and things like that. But we're going to move that tension from our shoulders so we can, once again, get back in focus and allow them to move their bodies. They want to move. They want to stand up, twist, and jump, and shop, and do all that kind of stuff. And we want to allow them to do so within a calm and controlled environment. So you want to sit up nice and tall. Make sure you reiterate the importance of their posture, not only because it looks better, but to help them get the oxygen they need into their bodies and brains for the focus of attention on what you are trying to teach them. What you're teaching is probably amazing, but if they're not present and there for it, it don't mean anything. So we want to make sure they're present as much as possible. Sit up nice and tall. I'm going to show you a side view. Boom, using the chair. Um, all right. Alina's sister, thank you for joining us. Um, Whoever's there, if you want to turn on your camera, that's cool. Inhale, I'm gonna bring my shoulders up. Oh, I already feel the tightness in my shoulder. And I squeeze on it, breathe on it, and then exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. I like to get exaggerated, <coughs> excuse me, by rolling the shoulders forward and then up. The more I add on to it, the more it gives back to me, opening up through the shoulders, opening up through the collarbone, the chest, and then rolling the shoulders back and down. Let's take three of these. All right, and even for more extraness, put those hands on the shoulders, just like that. Put your hands on your shoulders, and then use those elbows like oars, oars in the water. Good, and roll those arms back. That gives them even more sensation. It helps them to bring them into the present. And then feel like they are on the, on the Olympic swim team, swimming through a pool of stress to get to the Gold Medal of Education. Ooh, I like that. Tokyo 2020. Inhale slowly. Exhale, roll back and down. All right. Body is stretched out and our upper body. We're still in a chair. We're still moving. Now we're moving on to fractions. I don't like fractions. That's stressing me out even just thinking about fractions. I got to do something. Let's take a deep breath. And then let's move. 
I'm gonna take my left hand, bring it up into the sky, stretch, stretch, stretch. All right, so I'm getting a full body stretch here, just all the way from my hips to my fingertips, reaching up, stretching up. All right, so I'm not even thinking about fractions and how you divide a fraction into a fraction. I'm just thinking about breathing along with my tutor, stretching up, reaching up. Okay, you start to feel the blood flowing. You start to feel the hormones kick in. You start to get a little bit of energy. And you even need to sip on a Red Bull or a Monster. Stretch, 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 stretch. Challenging our body. The more we give to our body, the more it gives back to us. All right, they focus now because their arms starting to burn. They focus now because they have to rely on the breath. They are focused now because they have to have their spine straight and their arms up. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale, drop that left hand. We got a whole other side of the body. That's a fraction right there. Moving to the other fraction of our body. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, let's count them down so we're not gonna torture them. For five, breathe, stretch up a little bit higher through the ribs, through the shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, drop the hands down. Let's take three deep breaths wide. So we only send them, get them back into focusing on the educational piece. You go from your body to your mind, from your body to your mind until it comes back together and our body and our mind are connected. So let's take three deep breaths here, connecting the body and the mind. On the count of three, we'll start with a deep inhale. My chin is level with my chest. My tall spine is there, my chest is lifted, my shoulders relax. Intentionality, I wanna be intentional with my breath. So when they know they are being tutored by you, they know it's a full body experience that they bring their mind, their body, and their heart into. Feet placed firmly on the ground. Let's take a deep inhale, breathe in, and breathe out. Two more, breathe in, and breathe out. One more. somewhere for a second. It took you away from the stress of scantrons and bubbles. It took you from the worry of going back into a cold environment or not. It took you away from the stress of dealing with parents and teachers and math and English and it just placed you in a place of calm and relaxed for a second. That's what we want to give to our students. Let me recap once again how we're going to do that. Starting out with the breath. We make sure we jump in with the breath so they know where they are. They know what they need. They know it's about being focused and present. Start off with the breath. As soon as we start our tutor session, those three deep breaths will help you get a whole lot farther within the session. We're breathing deep into the belly. You can use that visual of a red balloon in and out of the nose. We want them to focus on breathing in and out of the nose to help them utilize their mind muscle instead of just breathing all over the place. All right, so first we jump in with the breath, getting a focus. Then we jump in with the body. Different challenges, different ways we can use the body. Arms over the head, stretching to make sure the blood is flowing and we're waking up, we're getting energized. Or we're rolling the shoulders to deal with that stress so we can prepare for possibly more stress or possibly just being able to receive some more information. And then we bring that all together with the mind and the body. <sighs> and allow our students and ourselves to be present within it. All right, so first starting with the breath, then moving into the body, and then helping to relax the mind. Now, you may not have a voice that you uh, feel like is relaxing. You may not have the yoga skills and knowledge and stuff, but as long as you remember, hey, did we breathe? Did we move? Did we breathe and move? Then you're doing something. Another technique that I like to use, especially at the end of class when we're rounding out and get to the job, or even in the middle when they've gotten too rowdy, somebody in the background said something, a little brother threw a paper wad and now they're all over the place, is being able to bring them back mindfully. Once again, you don't need a calming voice, you don't need a super duper degree in anything like that. You just need to be able to count and to breathe. Whether the baby sister or the tutor 
skill is being able to count and breathe. So whether you are the one educating someone or whether the one, you are the one being educated, tapping into your body, tapping into your breath, tapping into your mind is going to lead you down the path of getting what you want, which is a good grade or the good grade for others. So we're going to go down that path all in 15 seconds. I want you to find the most relaxing and comfortable space for your body to be in. If you don't have one, create one. Lay flat down on your back. Sit in your chair. Relax your head, relax your neck and your shoulders. As I count from 1 to 15, just follow along with your breath. Meaning focusing on the ins and the outs of your inhale and your exhale. And allowing yourself to feel super duper relaxed and calm. Just like you're watching your favorite show or hanging out with some loved one or just chilling and being you. I'm going to count from 15 to 1 and you just breathe and relax. 1, 2, 3, for 15 to breathe. 14, shoulders relax. 13, relax your toes. 12, the tops and the bottoms of the feet. 11, relax your legs. really appreciate you showing up today, taking the time during the summer, taking the time off when you can do anything else to be able to relax and chill. So as always, feel free to feel free and namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, there we go. Little sister, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name?